everybody. Thanks for joining me for this week's At Home Wonder Lab. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a catapult with rubber bands, craft sticks, and a spoon. But stay tuned after I show you how to do it because I do have some options just in case you don't have craft sticks at home. See you there. So for my version here, I gathered up nine craft sticks and seven rubber bands. So first step is we're gonna take seven of those craft sticks and rubber band them together. I did two rubber bands, one on the left and one on the right. You just wanna make sure that they're not going anywhere. Like that. Then we're gonna take the other two craft sticks and rubber band those together at one end. And then just slide that down so that it's at the end, like this. Next, we're going to open up these two and slide our stack in between, like so. So you should end up with something like that. Next step to secure this in place is to take two rubber bands and put them in an X shape across here. So you'll do one across and then another one across like this. So there's one side and the other. Like that. Last step for our catapult is to take the spoon, put it on top here, and rubber band that. So I like to use two rubber bands for this to help make sure that the spoon really stays on there. So I'll do the first one. Oop. And then I slide this one down to the bottom. And then the second one. And there you go. You've got a nice catapult ready for flinging M&Ms or popcorn or erasers. Uh, just don't fling it at anybody. Now, if you don't happen to have any craft sticks at home, you can do this project in other ways. Um, one way that I also did it was with a tube from a paper towel roll. And then I just did two rubber bands to cross that on there. And this works as well. Or you can do it with pencils forming your base, which I rubber banded together. And then you put your spoon on like that. Or you can get creative with how you put your pencils together. So I did 